H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Thank you, Shweta. Thank you, Amin. Excellent. Okay. Uh, people are still joining. We'll give them one minute. Meanwhile, I'll share my screen. So just check whether you are able to see my screen. Okay. Thank you, Arjun. Thank you, Radhita. Demand. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Kate. So, sharing my screen, you should be able to see it now. And we will hold it for a minute because people are still joining. Just give them one minute and then we'll start. Okay, let's start. I think everybody has joined. Okay, so a little bit about this particular um, software which you are using to connect. Okay, uh, first thing you should always uh, be uh, attentive uh, that you are always getting my voice clearly and screens updated. If not, you have to please tell me. Okay, second thing. Uh, in case you have any questions, okay, anywhere in a session, during the session, uh, you can use your chat box to write the question, okay? So we will have a logical breakpoint after each uh, slide or two slides, something like that, and then we will discuss the questions, right? Okay, so let's start. That's a simple instruction to start with. Now, if you see my screen now, I'm just sharing it. It looks familiar. It looks familiar. This is just simple Amazon.com, right? So what exactly we are doing here? Okay, we are here to learn Java. We are here to understand how Java works. Now, why we are landing here in Amazon.com? The simple thing is, I'm, if I'm clicking on something or if I'm viewing this information, okay, and let's say if I click this particular watch here, here, wherever, okay, so just click here, something is happening, right? Something is happening. 
I'm getting all the images of that particular watch, okay? Which is might be a developed functionality by them. Then the name of it, then the price of it, description, okay? So this details are kept somewhere, right? These are somewhere in, in a file, in a database, okay? Somewhere, okay? We don't know that yet, right? But they're coming on the screen for you right on your request how did that happen how did that happen so just because a page works okay um you have to find out a logic let's say so now you need to find out or you need to code a logic which will fetch this information for the user can you do that today yes there are many technologies which will help you to actually provide some information on the page. But what happens behind the scene will be done by a programming language, okay? A programming language supports the web actions, okay? So is it only for web? Java is very popular web development language. But is it only for web development? No, you can do that. You can actually use it for many different reasons. As a matter of fact, I will tell you Java is a very popular for machine learning as well as IoT. What is machine learning? We'll see that later in later course. And what is IoT? Inform uh, Internet of Things. Okay. So that your AC operates on something. Your washing machine operates on some programming language. Your DVD player understands what you watch and all those. So those things are basically Internet of Things. Okay. So cool. So now as we understand this, let's go through it and uh, try to understand why we are learning Java, why learning Java is so important today. Okay. And today is the most important thing. Okay. So to know Java, because Java uh, was not Java was a niche skill at like 10 years back. Java was a skill five years back, and Java is a basic thing just like writing our ms office in your resume that i know how to use word i know how to use uh, powerpoint similarly i know how to write java it's a basic skill today so how do i develop that okay so about me first okay talking about your instructor today and onwards this is rishi my name is rishi I have now around 15 years of total experience in Java and currently I'm a te technical architect in Atlanta. Okay, so Home Depot. Five completing six years of total teaching experience. Okay, and a similar experience in technical panel, okay, HR interviews, technical interviews. Okay, so I'll be working as a freelancer for hiring people. So I know exactly what to ask, okay, and how people fake it, okay. So I understand where people fake the resume, okay. I'm based in Atlanta, basically, a Smyrna area, and I love reading and traveling and all those. That's you know that a simple family guy, okay. So moving ahead, so this is my overall um, what I can say a portfolio, a resume, a short resume, okay. Cool. So let's go ahead and try to understand the resume which we are going to build okay so what is java java is a programming language you know that java is a computing platform first released by sun microsystem now anybody can answer who owns java today can anyone answer please who Correct. owns java yeah that's right but please write in your chat box okay if you start talking then entire audience will get a huge uh, what i can say okay who owns java now Please in, in your chat box. I still get Sun. No, Sun actually um, got hired. They left Java. Sun Microsystem started Java in 1995. Java is open source, of course. Java is of course open source. But Java owned by Oracle. Right. So all the certifications which you are going to do will be Oracle certified expert, Oracle certified programmer, Oracle certified architect. Right? So that is for java good with it so see how long a journey is how many software do you see that survived that much time okay so and it's still leading the market think about that right 
there are a lot of applications and websites that won't even work. And I'll give you a simple example. Three months back, I brought this particular laptop. Okay. And as soon as I started my first browser, I just started Google and I was searching something. Immediately, it will ask me, install Java. Because Java was not available, some websites were not loading at all. That's a problem. But I understood most important thing that Java is a basic thing you should have in your computer, right? And more and more getting created. And you're going to create some of them, right? But before moving further, you need to understand this sentence, print this sentence, and put it in your wall. Java is simple. Java is absolutely simple. It's fully object oriented and robust. Okay. This is the what I can say a key property why Java still exists. Okay. Because it's so fast, it's secure, and it's really reliable. Right. Java is free to download. You know that as somebody already told, it's open source. What does that really mean? The source is given to you. Right. So if you want to create your own functions in Java, you can do that and you have put it in your own version of Java. Right. So you can do that. That is called as open source. And you can always get the latest version of JRE or JDK right from here. Go Java.com. Of course, it will redirect you to Oracle, but Java.com is always available to you. So you can go download a latest version of Java. Okay. Java is everywhere, starting from your um, computer web programming, computer programming to IoT or Internet of Everything for that matter. Okay. And recently, Java 10 has been introduced to get the penetration into machine learning so machine understanding machine algorithms java has introduced java 10 it has a new feature called a jshell we'll talk about it okay so java has a very vibrant open source community why this is important by the way let's say i created my own language okay my language called as uh, rishi is java or rishi that's it that's my language who will use that nobody Okay, and if in case I force you to use that language in your corporate, okay, and suddenly I change my job and I don't have time to support that, and you got some questions, how do you answer that? Nobody can answer that because I have created that and nobody supports that particular language, and nobody's answering your question, right? In exact reverse way, when you have a vibrant open source community behind the scene, what happens if you have a question? Okay, if you just Google that question, dead comparison in Java, try it right now. Dead comparison in Java, you actually get 100,000 results within seconds. Why? Because people are writing code in Java, they're facing problems in Java, and they are answering questions online. That is very, very important for the learner because you're gonna guess for you're gonna get a lot of problems. Okay, and that is a good sign. And when you get the problem, you get an instant answer within Google itself. You don't have to go like uh, what I can say, a books library or something like that. You just Google it and instant you get your answer. This vibrant open source community made Java as the what I can say a star language in IT industry, Java as well as a programming language. Right? So Java is a platform almost. So what you need to know, okay? We're gonna understand actually what are the different things you're gonna learn in this particular course. But today also we are learning a small thing, okay? So we are going to understand how it runs, okay? And why Java is so famous. Now, write a Java code, okay? There is a compiler given to you. That compiler converts that code into dot class file, and that dot class file get executed in Java Virtual Machine, and that Java Virtual Machine is responsible to generate a machine uh, understandable formatted uh, code. Okay, so that will on your machine. So now today I am going to tell you three different concepts which are very important and good to what I can say. It's a base for your learning. So first thing is Java runtime environment. Okay, so this will actually give you idea like what exactly you need to download on your machine today, today only. Okay, so JRE Java runtime environment. What does that mean? Java runtime environment. Now I am going to create an example of your car, your basic car. Okay, whether it's a Camry, it's a Lexus, whatever. 
I really don't care. But what are the things in your card which makes it as a car? Think about that. It has four wheels, it has a steering wheel, it has a brake pedal, it has a gas pedal, right? It has some um, even even I don't care about the glasses, I don't lights, okay? You will ride on a day, but basics in there, which is absolutely needed, the basic structure to drive that car. Okay. So whenever uh, that, that that car you can drive, right? Your cash pedal, your brake pedal, and done. Okay, and you can drive that. All right. So the basic structure of that car makes it drivable. Similarly, the Java runtime environment is a basic structure, is a basic things which we, which can execute a Java program. Okay. Is it sufficient for a car to drive? Or is it, is it is it like you can actually fix the car with that particular structure? No, you cannot, but you will actually run the car for sure. You have the basic structure ready, you are going to run that car. Right? So the basic provided to your computer to execute Java program is called as Java runtime. Okay? Just like your basic structure of a car, make it runnable, make it drivable. This GRE makes your Java program drivable. Okay, understood up to this point. Sorry, GRE is responsible to run your car. Right now, what is Java Virtual Machine? Now, understand one thing. Let's say Lexus. Okay, let's say BMW. Okay, whatever it may be, the car. If you put it into your Amazon jungle, will you be able to drive? No. Why? Because you need some infrastructure, you need roads, you need signals, okay? You need properly aligned roads, okay? Good turns, okay? Rules, regulations, policies, right? So that basic infrastructure has to be provided to execute, to drive your car. So that infrastructure provided to you with the help of JVM. So what is JVM? JVM provides a basic infrastructure to your Java program to execute okay so jvm is responsible for doing what providing environment to you okay so then what is jdk you got the environment you got the car you are driving the car in your environment then what's the problem of jdk jdk is responsible to create the car and jdk is responsible to fix the car because it will need a mechanic it will need an engineer to make it from scratch or to fix it if broken, right? That exactly is you. You are a mechanic and you are an engineer. So you're gonna create a class from scratch, Java class from the scratch, and you're gonna fix it when it is broken, right? So JDK is Java Development Kit. The kit is similar to what a mechanic has a kit, right? So if you wanna, even if you want to change your oil, you have to lift the car with pneumatics, right? Will you be able to do that with your own hand, bare hands? No. So some kit is provided to you, some tools are provided to you. Those tools are basically JDK. So those tools will help you to write a Java program from scratch and fix it when needed. We can debug that, right? So these are the three different concepts, three important concepts. So what exactly for you? Today, what you are going to download? Tell me that, what you understood from this? What exactly we are going to download? Will you download GRE or JDK? In your chat box, please. The chat box. Yes, Deepika. You're right. You're right. Anyone else? Exactly that. Perfect. So you're going to download JDK today. Okay. From there. So just go ahead. And just down for Oracle Technology Network. Okay, so you can see Java SE Development Kit. Okay, Java SE for this is standard edition. Okay, what is SE? Standard. See, eleven has arrived. Just go ahead, download or click.
right? It has 11. I am not recommending that yet. See what we graph is what industry actually is on. So I, I, after 11, this not is 8. So 8U91. Okay, go ahead and download that. You can. According to your operating system, Mac, then you have Mac one. Okay. One use that problem with that. Okay, I'm not saying not. Whatever you have, we're gonna learn on eight nine platform. Okay, we got new things in eleven. Get it to the URL. So let me put it here in your chat box, sending it to everyone. So if you don't have your okay, if you, what is this window 86 and Windows 64? If you are using Windows 64 bit edition, go ahead and download this. Anything other than that, go ahead and download this one. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, go ahead and download this one. Good with it. How many sessions of Java classes? I will talk about it, Shweta. Okay, we will jump on that. Okay. Okay, so that is your first download, which is JDK download. Now Java API, which is application programmable interface, which is actually a Java language. Okay, which we are going to learn. That is commands and statements in Java, in Java basics, which is core Java. Okay, so this is what we're gonna learn. Okay, initially. Now let's continue and quickly see what are the different things we are covering. Some of the things which are outside these slides also we are going to cover and I'll tell you while talking to it. Okay, so let's continue that and quickly understand and then I'll take the questions on course also. Okay, so now first thing which we are, which we are going to do is Java starters. So in that it will be a core Java module. In core Java module you are starting with a basic concept of object oriented programming which is a backbone of Java programming. Okay, then you will start about data types controlling the program loopings handling different conditions or do you handle that what is the importance of it in a business scenario so we'll take a business scenario and we will actually do some logic here okay we are not okay so most important thing here is as i'm actually working in the industry and i know exactly how it works okay in industry especially in the retail domain we're gonna take a real problem to work with okay this is not like matrix addition okay this is not a plus a and one plus one equals to two no that's the college days are gone we are going to handle a real problem we are also going to handle a real project okay during our learning also we're going to understand with the help of real scenarios okay classes and objects the important concepts of it why separation of object is important why separation of class is important how they interact overloading and overriding their importance Okay, understanding the reusability wherever I can, abstract classes and interfaces. What's the difference? What is the real difference after Java 8 in interfaces? Okay, polymorphism. Okay, understanding parent child relationship. Okay, one class is parent, one is child of that. Why? How? And then download and install the most widely used IDE, which is Eclipse. You should at least have Eclipse mars in your onion in your computer if you have oxygen well and good okay if you still have letter social what i'm talking about again don't worry go ahead and try it eclipse dot org i'm going to provide a link okay don't worry this is eclipse foundation you can see that let's click on download okay a lot of new things here. Let's go on to click on download. It will give you different links. So this is like the newest one, which is uh, Simrel. Okay, download 64. It identified my computer thing, but you can actually see download packages. Okay, and now here you have to download Eclipse ID for Java 
Eclipse ID for Java EE developers. This is what you will download. Okay, let's click on it. And this is the link for you. Okay, why not IntelliJ? Okay, you can download IntelliJ. I will give you help at the end of the session. Okay, and I love that platform as well. Okay. Do we use Glassfish? No, we don't use Glassfish. Why? It's not like I hate it. Industry hates it. Okay. So I, what, wherever I moved on, wherever I see different companies, I actually uh, changed a lot of things. Okay. Worked with a lot of companies as a consultant. I know that Eclipse is being used like a 90, 90, 95%. Plus 5% is intelligent. Okay. So any of that is fine. If you are, if you love that platform, go ahead and use that. In between, I will also tell you what are the different things in IntelliJ as well. Okay, cool. But the Eclipse is must, must, must. Okay, today you have to download that. Excellent. So let's move ahead. Any questions up to this point? I'll stop here a bit, a um, one minute. Any questions up to this point? Okay, cool. Let's continue. If you have questions, put it there. Don't put it in your mind. Okay. Otherwise, you will not focus for them. Fine. Then once the start are complete, okay, you are new to programming. That is a good good news for me. I'll tell you why. Okay. So main course, you understand multi-threading, exception handling, IO stream. That means file handling and collections. Okay. So collections is collecting data. Again, this is not a theory class. Okay, you will not be able to just sit behind, see the screen and done. Okay, that's not something. Even now I'm giving you some tasks, right? These are the links. Download this, download that. I'm continuously giving some tasks to you also. Can you try this? Can, can you write this out today? Can you do this? All these things, you're going to take it. You're going to do it. You have to make your hands dirty. Unless you do that, okay? The, see, learning programming is basically making your hands dirty. Okay, you have to be a, a practiced programmer. Okay, so every day we'll take a problem, which is an industry problem and try to solve it with Java. Okay, so we'll try to solve it in class and assignments also. Good with it. Let's continue. So this is your uh, advanced core Java, multi-threading, exception handling, IO streams and collections. Then we start about servlet and JSPs. So even though you think like, okay, the world is moving towards microservices and why I'm learning servlet, see servlet is your base. Okay, so let's always use your base, right? How does the web is actually interacting with your web server? How your screen interacts, how your URL interacts with your server? Service is a, so let's is a starting point of everything. So, so let's in JSP is your core technology, which we'll learn XML and JSON. Okay, so here only XML is mentioned, but JSON also we're gonna understand how the format is, what are the different rules of JSON, what are the rules of XML, okay? Start framework, we're going to take some time here to understand because this is the first framework which you're going to understand. Okay. And it follows MVC. That's how you're going to understand that. Good. Bit. So starts is a basic framework. We're going to take three or four hours of it and try to understand into end. But we will not go deep into it because there are very low projects, very minimum projects which are using it. Generally, maintenance projects are in starts. Okay. Then we'll move towards a bigger platform, which is Spring. And Spring going to take time. Spring is really, really important in your life. Starting from core Spring, dependency injection, aspect-oriented programming, Spring JDBC templates, Spring JMS, okay, Spring transactions, and even introduction to Spring Boot. Spring is most important. Okay, focus on that. So we're gonna take a week or probably two weeks, depending on how what's the speed of the batch. But Spring will take time. It will also touch introduction to microservices and restful services, web services, okay, within Spring. Understood? Spring integration also. Some part of Spring integration also I'm going to tell you. So, but with it, so Spring is detailed one. Then you have Hibernate. Hibernate is easy, okay? It's, it's not hard, I'll tell you. Okay, you will love that topic. You good with it? Good. Understanding design patterns. Some problems are already solved for you, okay? With some, so if, if I want a single instance of a class in entire JVM, how do we do that? And all those, so these are common problems and people have already solved it. So they don't want you to reinvent the wheel. So we're gonna understand what are the different answers 
to pre-existing problems. That is design patterns. There are 23 core design patterns exist. We're going to learn 10 of them for your resume. These are the most commonly used 10 design patterns. Okay. Which you should thoroughly know with examples, practical examples. Understanding web services. Web services is core of the technology today. Today, if you put your resume in your market, you are going to write web services in Java. You are not going to write starts. You are not going to write spring. You are going to write you have to write spring okay not, nothing like that but you are basically writing web services okay so web services architecture what is SOA service oriented architecture how it is different than microservices okay what is microservices architecture where do we fit our web services into it how do we develop them how do we publish them how do we uh, track them okay what are the KPIs key performance indicators of the services right how do we generate the stub right how do we write restful and there will be an assignment for it so all those things you want to cover in web services again it's a detailed topic okay moving further some topics which are helpers like jms the connecting to the queues sending receiving messages from the queues jndi is remoting like uh, uh, grabbing a remote object using the remote object java naming and directory interfaces basically for that we're going to use tomcat for that okay Today, if you do not understand any of these things and you are absolutely new to the programming, I love you because it's very easy to write on a white paper. I don't have to eliminate. I don't have to rub all things from you and then learn Java. People who have programming background are harder to teach. You have to unlearn first and then learn. People are absolutely new to programming. They very. They will grab the concepts very easily because they are nothing to compare. Okay, so if you are very new to Java, believe you are fortunate. Okay, if you are not, if, if this is your third, fifth programming language, please try to unlearn or please don't compare. And our mind is tend to compare. Oh, that doesn't happen in C plus plus. Oh, that doesn't happen in that particular language. No, it's not required. Java is Java. Keep it like that. Okay, good. Log4j, JUnits. Okay, these are the some some important concepts which you can allow. Okay, we are not going to understand SVN and CVS. SVN basically I will give you an introduction, but we are going to create your repositories in Git. What I said, your repository. Why? Because whatever classes we are going to do, whatever things you are going to write, you are going to check in in your repository. And that link will be given on your LinkedIn profile and in your resume. Your resume should have your Git repository link. This is very important. Okay. Gone those days when just resume is sufficient. You need to have LinkedIn profile with proper recommendations. You need to have Git link. Okay. So that we're going to build. So. You, both the tasks are happening simultaneously. You are learning also, you are building your resume also. That is the most important thing, isn't it? Good. Again, the tip is this is not a theory class. We are understanding the concepts. We are doing actual Java coding in the class. Right? Okay, understand this. Like whenever we are learning any other technologies, there are assignments everywhere. Okay, so you're gonna take some assignments every time. So spring assignment, I've been assignment. So there will be assignments. Good with it. Plus interview tips and suggestions. You're going to understand your resume building. Mock interviews are limited. Personalized suggestions. Okay. You are good in that. You are not good in that. You have to prepare more. Some books are, excuse me, some books are freely available to you. I'm going to share the links with you. Okay. Daily and weekly assignments. I don't prefer daily assignments. I, I prefer uh, segment wise assignments. Okay. Where we have a logical breakpoint. Okay. And feasible batch time. We generally continue at 9.30 which is feasible for our West Coast people also. Okay, so they can complete their uh, office and by 6.30 they can join, All right? And we have a sticky forums which you are going to start and I'm always available, I'm just an email away, okay? I have students who left me uh, five years back, okay? They're done with the course and they're still doing the job and they're still connected to me, okay? Suddenly they're changing their career path, they, are, they were in struts or some uh, simple JSPs, now changing to microservices, they start in touch with me. Okay. So you always have touch with me. I'm here only. Okay. That's my official email address. Good with. 
Any questions up to this point? Okay. So th this is an answer to the question, Basant. I, I told you, like, if you are new to programming, that's a very good sign. More questions? Okay. Timing, uh, 9.30. Okay. Uh, will the class is daily? Okay, good question. So class is basically initially what happens is you need time to grasp and revise. So initially for at least two weeks, what we do is we do alternate day. So that next day will be a revision. You can actually go through the video again. Okay. Go through the materials again. Okay. And then you can revise the stuff. When is the next class starting? Next class is on Friday. Okay. But you can definitely check your email. You'll get an email from us to gain process for sure. Good with it. Okay. Uh, second thing is duration. So the entire duration will be, uh, yeah, I will be teaching the class. Yes. The entire duration will be 55 hours to 60 hours. And sometimes it's greater, depending on speed of the batch. And speed of the batch decides on your questions. So if the batch is lower, it goes up to 65 hours also. So if, if that being said, if you take that time accordingly, first two weeks, alternate days, and then uh, regular classes, it will end up being two and a half months of total time. Okay. We take classes on weekends sometime, but I'll tell you well in advance. Well, at least three or four days advance. Okay. And if you're planning for a longer class, like two hours or three hours class, sometimes what happens is I have a topic to tell you, and I cannot break that topic into two parts. I cannot break that topic in between. I have to complete that topic in a single day, even if it is two and a half hours. Okay. So if that if such topic, there are some topics like that. So whenever some topics comes like that, I will take a class on weekend and in one flash, in, in one single attempt, we're gonna complete that. But of course, we're gonna have in between breaks, 10 minutes break now, and but those topics only will have weekend classes. Otherwise, our regular classes are sufficient. Weekends are for assignments. Good with it. Any questions further? All good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, if you have any questions uh, in your uh, mind right now or later also, if you thought of something, I'll provide in my email address. You can always reach out to H2K Infosys and my email address for any technical queries. Okay. So let me put it there. So my email address is simple, rishi.h2k infosys at gmail.com putting it there you can copy that okay can you please confirm the date again when the class is starting so class is okay the next class is on friday okay and probably by this monday okay uh, what why i'm saying probably because i'm pretty much dependent on extra case for schedule okay because they have to adjust the batches right so they don't have one batch to start right they have many things going on simultaneously so once uh, we have that proper schedule in hand on Monday. Uh, you can definitely get a date. Okay, so that will be published Monday. You can take Monday as a starting date. Yes. More questions? Anything? Everything understood? Shweta, Ram, Sri, you haven't talked anything. All good. Excellent. Yet more questions. Hossein, Lalita. Okay, cool. So let's stop here and let's continue to the next class where we will discuss in detail how our Java works in your laptop. Okay, so we're going to combine your JDK and Eclipse together try to understand, try to create a simple hello world class and start our Java journey. Okay, so let's stop here and let's continue to the next class. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a wonderful night ahead. Good night. Feel free to send me your questions. Okay, don't worry. Any kind of questions. Thank you. Thanks a lot.